Happy Flossmas Day 29. Happy Sunday, Floss Tube. This one is going to be quick because it is 11.58 and my son is supposed to be having a friend to come over at noon. <laughs> so I'm trying to squeeze this in before, uh, before it gets too noisy downstairs. So first of all, I just wanted to mention in case you didn't watch Michelle Bendy's video yesterday, she had the updated totals for the entire month of collection for donations, uh, auction item donations for Muscular Dystrophy Canada donation. I think I've said the word donation 10 times already. And the grand total was $2,048. Now, that number is slightly higher than what Michelle said in her video. She said 2014, but we had an extra uh, scissor special scissor fob donated by Amy uh, at the at the very end so a little extra money was raised so two thousand and forty eight dollars that's two-thirds of the way right there patty break I know has sold just over three hundred and fifty patterns so I mean how amazing is that really how amazing is that that's at least $350 towards Muscular Dystrophy Canada, which is just incredible because the pattern's $2. So, 350 patterns sold, that's amazing. So, that combined with the direct donations that people have been donating directly to the charity, I, I think we might be getting up there. Um, again, like I said yesterday, I, I am not able to get a total from the direct donations because the people in that department who would be able to calculate that for me are on holiday so I apologize all I can do is my best guess I know that we have we have done so well so we only have a few days left so if you were make if you were considering at all and making a small donation the link is in the drop-down box below we're, we're just we're almost there thank you for your consideration and don't forget to email me caroline at evertote.com and in your subject line, I donated to MDC. If you made your direct donation to MDC from the link in the drop down box below, and then you'll be entered in the raffle that I'm going to do at the beginning of January. I'm hoping to do that raffle in the second week of January. Um, in a perfect world, I would do it January 1st. However, I have a sale going in the shop right now, www.evertote.com. Uh, the entire shop is 20% off at the moment, and I need to make sure that all of that work is complete and those packages are sent out in the mail first, and then at the beginning of the second week of January, that's when I plan to pull the names for the raffle from uh, for, the, for all of those prizes for people who directly donate. So, thank you. $2,048 in auctions. I mean, that's incredible. 350 patterns sold. That's amazing. You are amazing. And thank you. Okay, I have some progress to share with you. I worked on Starry Skies again last night. And I am smelling a finish. Look at that. So, as you can see, I completed two more stars. Two more full stars. Um, all of the metallic needed to fill in these sections here. And then I filled in my uh, Karen watercolors. I think this is called Lexi's Blue. That's the name of this thread right here. It's a variegated thread and it's absolutely beautiful. So that's actually what was interesting about this piece. This thread here is one thread. It's a variegated. But you do see these color changes here? This is all done with different threads. This is one, two, three, four five different threads making up these ones here. So I am, I think tonight I'll easily be able to finish up to the top corner and then I'll just have this part here left to do and then it'll be done. So close, so close, I can smell it. The other thing that I worked on uh, last night and this morning with my coffee and oh I see, I oops, I left my needle mid row. Well, that's not very good, is it? You're gonna to have to use your imagination a little bit here. Uh, the heel flap on my sock for my father-in-law. 
the heel flap, I have about an inch and a half. So I like my heel flaps to be about two and a half inches. I think that's a good, that's a good height length for a nice deep heel. And so I only have about an inch left to go. And I'll be able to knit that up tonight while we're visiting. So it is Sunday night, so who knows what's gonna happen tonight. Uh, but we'll probably, we'll probably have some talking time, which is good knitting time. I find it much easier to knit when I'm visiting with people instead of stitching. Because knit, I don't know. I don't know why. Probably because I don't have to concentrate as much. I'm less likely to make mistakes. I, and trust me, I still make mistakes, but I'm less likely to make lots of mistakes. So as you can see, the rest of the sock is just hanging out, waiting on that circular needle and then when I'm done my heel flap I do something called turning the heel which makes a little 3d shape at the top of it and then I pick up all of these stitches along the side of the heel flap and then I do something called the gusset I knit the gusset after the heel uh, flap stitches are picked up and then when that's done when all those heel stitches are heel flap stitches are picked up this turns into, then you, you then connect the front of the sock again. And then it's so funny because it turns into something that looks like a little canoe, a little 3D shaped canoe. So that's always fun. And you always feel like a bit of a magician when you get to that point. You think, oh, look what I did. I made a shape. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So I will show you when I get to that point, you can see the canoe. And that's it. That really is it. I was really hoping to work on Savon and you know at least put half an hour into Savon last night, but I just didn't have time. And today's Sunday. I'm I need to do a few hours of sewing this after this afternoon, and I'm going to do that while the boys are playing, and then a quiet dinner and who knows what tonight has in store. And that's it for me. I think this is this is definitely. Oh, it's, I'm still seven minutes in. See, I thought I only had about two minutes worth, but I see that I still managed to talk for seven and a half minutes. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow will probably be a little bit more of a floss tube Monday setup, like usual. So tune back in tomorrow because, as usual, we'll have a because Monday giveaway, and I might even have two because Monday giveaways, because it is the last Monday. It's the last floss tube Monday of 2019. So I think two, two because Monday giveaways are in order. So I hope you have a great Sunday. Happy stitching, and I'll see you tomorrow.